Good morning, guys. It is Monday, another week. I am actually on campus today, which is not my norm for Mondays since I usually just have lectures. But I told you guys last week in my last vlog that this Thursday is going to be my first physical diagnosis practical. So my professor set up practice times for us. So we have a 45 minute slot where we can go in with our partner and each run through and practice it. And uh, the reason we're doing it on campus is so we can have any last minute questions answered by our professors. I feel kind of prepared. This is gonna be the first time I'm running through the script doing probably the full examinations, like really looking in the mouth, looking in the ear, that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping it doesn't throw me off too much. I do wish I, knew more of my script before going in today but it is what it is so I'm gonna go in I think I'm also gonna stay on campus to finish my lectures for today after because I finish at 11 and figured I'm already on campus might as well just study on campus and limit the distractions that I've been having at home and maybe that'll help but I'll check in with you guys later because I gotta go in now okay bye so I just got home I was originally gonna stay um, after PD lab to finish my Monday lectures um, at the library but honestly I just was not in a good mood after my PD practice thing so I just like wanted the car ride to just sit and do nothing and I'll just be comfy in my own home to finish the lectures like during our practice session it got a little messed up where we weren't able to practice with the person that we're actually going to be doing it on on Thursday so that like really threw me off because I assumed we would be with our partners and get to like practice on our partners. Um, but it's okay, my partner was still really good. It's just, it made me flustered and threw me off. Um, I didn't have as much memorized as I wanted to going into this. Just kind of reminded me how much I still have to memorize, but it's fine. I'll just keep practicing. I don't know why it like bothered me so much, but it is what it is. It's done. I got to practice some of the skills and ask some of the questions to my professor that I wanted to ask as I was going through it. So that was good. I'm just gonna go in and do my lectures now. Hopefully they don't take too long because I am not feeling it today anymore. I was like so ready for a good day and I don't know why this just ruined my day. I'm going to try not to let it ruin my day is basically what I'm trying to say right now, but okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys, it is like 6.45. I finished my lectures for the day at around 6 o'clock. I've just been kind of eating dinner, relaxing because I knew I had tutoring at 7 o'clock. Um, we originally had tutoring on Sunday, but it had to get rescheduled emergently. So now I have tutoring today. It is for anatomy. And so we are going to review last week's lectures. It's been really helpful for this class, especially because it's so much information. So we're told what kind of stuff to focus on. But clearly I'm in a better mood now than I was earlier today. Um, I think it's because lectures kind of went well. I had a farm lecture for like an intro to antimicrobials and into derm meds, which I'm actually very familiar with because I have been going to a dermatologist since I was 12 trying to deal with my acne, all these great things. So, so I'm very familiar with a lot of the medications because I've been on a lot of the medications. Um, so it's kind of funny, like learning about them now, it, like in this position, like hearing about the side effects from the medications when I've experienced them and things like that. So I think it's like really cool to be able to make connections, especially as a future provider. I think it's really important for us to pull from our past experiences as patients. I know like derm, doesn't feel like a big thing. It's not like I was in the hospital dying or anything, but um, I was a patient for a long time who was struggling with self-confidence and acne issues. And that's not the worst thing you could ever have. But I remember being in that chair. I remember going through the different medication options and still struggling now at 25. So yeah, I think it's great when we can pull from our life experiences to hopefully make us better providers in the future and understand what our patients are going through. I had that little realization today during that farm lecture and it was just like a nice reminder. So that got me in a better mood. And then I had a phys lecture and we were learning about excitable tissue and that was okay, but we won't talk about phys too long because 
tutoring starts soon i'm going to go that'll kind of be it for the big stuff tonight and then just maybe while i'm relaxing on the couch i'll just kind of review stuff for my pd practical and hopefully i'll memorize a couple more sections um i think i've been just trying to take it in chunks for like the memorization aspect because looking at it as a whole it's like a freaking lot but if i can do like manageable chunks i think that'll make my brain get it a little bit better okay i gotta go bye So it's like two o'clock now. I woke up around 6.30. I was able to see the sunrise again. So that's been nice. I've been able to do that the past two days actually. I really like that. And then just have like a relaxing morning. I started my lectures early. So I started them around eight. I have technically like four hours of like recorded anatomy lectures today. And I finished three of the four hours by like 12 30 and then i was starting to like feel tired and i felt like if i just kept going on that fourth hour um i would have probably fallen asleep so i should not paid attention so i relaxed a little bit longer than i wanted to the whole point of me starting early today was so that i don't get behind and so i have time to do other things but whatever oh and this morning while i was drinking my coffee before i started an anatomy i memorized another section of my pd practical so last night before I went to bed, I memorized a chunk and then I memorized another chunk this morning. So I would like to have the whole thing memorized by the end of tonight, but I don't know. I'll see. I still have to do my last hour of anatomy. I would love to do a radiology lecture today because those are also on our anatomy midterm. I heard it's like not too bad. Like we definitely need to know how to identify like the images and stuff. So that's the goal for the rest of the day. I feel good. I don't feel like overwhelmed at the moment. I'm gonna make a to-do list so I don't feel overwhelmed. I don't wanna do it after I feel overwhelmed is what I'm trying to say. I wanna make the to-do list first. Okay, back to work. I'm procrastinating now. Done with radiology. Look at those guys. Small bowel. Appendicitis. You can see that it's like inflamed. It's supposed to be small, but it's so big here. Look, this is a normal one. Normal appendix. It's like that little size. And then an appendicitis. Look at that guy. Ah! The sun's weird, so I'm like trying to find a good angle this way okay we're gonna talk this way so good morning it is 9 a.m i'm leaving to head to campus for my 10 a.m self-study lab time in the cadaver lab got my breakfast to go because your girl is always running late and then actually i take that back i'm always running like on time but anyways so this week we are looking at uh the retro peritoneal cavity so like the stuff in the back of the abdomen like the kidneys and the ureters and how they go down to the bladder so all the stuff in the pelvic cavity as well as like the reproductive systems things like that super fun um i'm being sarcastic not the coolest lecture i've ever seen but definitely cool to like know more so how like the men's reproductive system works and just get a better look at the women's things like that so head heading there gonna do that and then during our four hour break that we usually have I'm going to be running my PD practical one like crazy and maybe I'll be able to film some of that for you guys and then we'll go in with our professors with our guided lab time and hopefully I have some idea of what I'm doing and what structures I'm looking at but I'll update you guys later okay bye
guys this is like terrible lighting i'm so sorry but i just wanted to fill you in quick i just got home um it was a long day i went directly to my classmate and friend's house right after um anatomy lab today and we just straight up practiced for the pd practical it did take us a while just because it takes us so long to run through the pd practical our main problem we were running into was staying within the time constraint of 20 minutes performing all those exams luckily before the night ended we both got under 20 minutes it was just a struggle we were talking very fast but we did it so we feel confident for tomorrow our tired brains could get all the words out and do all the exams so we can only imagine what our refreshed brains will do tomorrow i do not have my pd practical until two o'clock which is nice I can sleep in, have a relaxing morning, review everything, and get ready to do it. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. I will fill you guys in on my day tomorrow. Pretty sure I'm just going to be reviewing for my PD practical up until the time I do my PD practical. I'm not making sense anymore because I'm so tired and I need to go to bed. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I love you. It's practical time. I am heading out. I practice this morning i reviewed my sheets i am leaving early because i want to get there early so i have time to review so i'm not stressed before i go in i'm a little nervous but i'm ready okay bye your favorite sizzly varieties order ahead with the wawa app what is up you guys lots of car talks here this week but i just got out of my pd practical and i think it went well i definitely missed like a few words here and there but i think i did all of the tests i like want to review my notes to make sure i think i did all of the tests and i finished at exactly 20 minutes i literally said the last line as the buzzer the timer was going off and he said that was fine so i think i definitely did the full 20 minutes because i was like so worried that i was going to forget something or like just I don't know so i took a little bit longer than i would have liked to but obviously it was within the time frame my professor told my partner and i that we did great that everyone's really been doing great just little things that a lot of people have been messing up on like the position of our hands when feeling for the thyroid i think he said we're a little high for both of us but that was like he said kind of around the whole group so um whatever my grade is i am proud of myself i am just so happy i completed it and i felt good about it and my professor said we did pretty good so i'll get my grade back for that hopefully soon it's like already three o'clock i the only thing i have really there is someone on the roof of a building up there okay sorry sidetracked the only other thing i really have today is fizz tutoring which is at six to seven o'clock so i'm gonna go home review my fizz notes so that I am prepared for that tutoring session. I might look over like a little bit of anatomy because my anatomy midterm is on Tuesday, guys. So like this whole weekend, I'll be studying for anatomy. And then I'm going to dinner with my fiance's parents. They're taking me out for my birthday and I'm going to have a crap ton of carbs at this Italian place and I cannot wait. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning, guys. It is Millie and Sam. It's Friday morning. I'm tired even though I got a full eight hours of sleep yesterday, but now I have to do one lecture. I only have one Friday lecture. It's in fizz. I feel like I'm always doing fizz lectures. This is like annoying. And then I have a video chat session with my group for my evidence-based practice uh, project. So I'll have that from one to three. So not too much today, which is good because I need to start studying for my anatomy midterm now that my PD practical is over. So I am trying to come up with a study plan because it is like a cumulative midterm. So it's everything that we've learned from our first day of anatomy until what we learned this past Tuesday. So I definitely need to review the old material, make sure I understand it. But I've heard that the majority of the material is going to come from the new material that we haven't been tested on yet. So there's that. And then I also have the practical that goes along with that. So it's like a 60 question exam and then a 30 to 50 question practical. They said it's gonna depend on what structures they could find in the cadavers and cadavers, what? Cadavers and label, as well as like keeping up with like social distancing during the exam. Okay, I have a lot to study, but I will keep you updated on what that study plan is and maybe I'll share it next week, but I'll pretty much be doing that all weekend. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because I have a lot to do today, but also the stuff is not very interesting. So thank you so much for watching again this week. We got through another week of PA school. And if you did too, great job because this 
it's not easy and we are doing our best and we are just taking it week by week. So I'm proud of you. <laughs> don't forget to like this video if you liked what you saw today. And also if you want to keep seeing more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. I try and post every Sunday, sometimes Mondays. I try and post every week. Okay, guys. <laughs> All right. I will see you guys next time.